many of you, as I have been, as I am, are where you are in your life based upon what you believe. And it's not just what you think you believe on the surface, it's also your shadow beliefs that are holding you back from moving into the life that you believe you deserve. What I know is if you're not looking at the shadows, if you're not looking at what is subconsciously running through the tape in your mind, telling yourself you're not good enough, you're not worthy enough, you're not smart enough, you're not enough, which is a tape that's playing for a lot of people. If you're not conscious of that, then you end up acting out of that belief system and not out of what you know to be the truest or want to be the truest for yourself. But you don't become what you want because so much of wanting is about living in the space of what you don't have. That's why Jim Carrey's story is so powerful because he started to act as though he already had it. He would go up to Mulholland Drive, he would drive away saying, thinking, I already have those things. I just haven't accessed them as yet. I believe those things are going to come to me and I'm going to act like they are. So I'm gonna move forward in my life in order to draw that to myself in such a way that my actions are in alignment with what I say I believe. So if you start to think about that, really, why are you where you are in your life? The choices that you have made have been because of what you believe to be true for yourself.